Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. You may also want to check out my mini course, Telepathically Connect with Your Specific Person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to touch on a topic that is of great interest to a lot of people. And I know I've discussed something similar before in other videos in the way of what is your specific person thinking while you're manifesting them. But today I wanted to touch on this topic from a different perspective, specifically a personal perspective. So I wanted to show you guys the other side of it, how it feels like to the person who is being manifested. And I'm going to speak from some of my personal experiences. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So as we've discussed before in other videos, we are all each other's mirrors. This means we all subconsciously receive and reflect 24 seven each other's dominant assumptions, dominant states, dominant energies, dominant expectations, and so on. As Neville like to say, we assign each other a script and we each play the role that we are assigned. And by the way, let me clarify here, this doesn't mean that we are completely helpless or completely powerless. We have unlimited power to choose our state at any given time, but we're always 24 seven like a funnel to each other, exchanging thoughts, transmitting thoughts, transmitting energies, transmitting assumptions, expectations, and so on. And this is why I've told you guys before that it is absolutely possible to recreate any specific person, romantic interest or not, any specific person at all, if you change your perceptions of them. So let me give you a couple of my personal experiences to illustrate how this works on the other side, on the person who is receiving whatever your thoughts are, whatever your expectations, your dominant assumptions, your dominant self-concept. And again, of course, we're all doing that unconsciously 24 seven. We are reflecting each other unconsciously all the time. So for example, recently I was on a coaching call with a client and I was giving her some examples and she stopped me right there and she was like, whoa, are you reading my mind? Because that was the exact thing I was thinking right now. Of course, I've told you before that I have telepathic experiences pretty much on a daily basis now. So this wasn't new to me, but I wanted to give you an insight of how it felt on me when she said, are you reading my thoughts? Are you reading my mind? Because to me, in that moment, it felt completely, 100%, naturally, as if it were my own thoughts. If she hadn't told me that this was what she was thinking in that moment, I wouldn't have known. I would have thought these were my own thoughts. And as a matter of fact, up until that moment, that is exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking these were my own ideas, these were my own thoughts, and I was just letting her know what was on my mind um, in the form of giving her some examples during our coaching session. So you see then that for the person who is receiving that telepathic message, if you will, whether that is deliberate or non-deliberate, like in this case, there is no difference with their own thoughts. We all think they are our own thoughts. We don't realize, we don't know, there is no way of knowing that the thought might have originated from someone else, unless they tell us, like in this case. We think it's our own mind coming up with it. We think it's ourselves prompting us to do or say whatever it is that we're doing or saying. And it doesn't feel like it might be coming from another source, from another person, from someone else's thought. It doesn't feel like that at all. It feels 100% natural and it feels 100% as if it's coming from our own self. So if you're wondering if at that point I knew that I was quote unquote reading her mind, no, I had no idea. And this is why I tell you guys, especially all of you manifesting a specific person, that your thoughts matter, your assumptions matter, your perceptions matter, because it's like a funnel between you and your specific person, and they are subconsciously receiving everything 24 seven. Another interesting example that illustrates that we really do reflect each other's dominant assumptions, each other's self-concept and each other's expectations is how all of us at one time or another seem to act out of character. And let me give you an example here. For a while, I had a friend who was also into manifesting. 
However, she had quite a poor self-concept and she had a view of the world that was, let's say, hostile. She felt like everyone was against her, that everyone was out to get her, um, that people were being hostile to her, that people were trying to get in her way. There was always this obstacle or that obstacle to her getting whatever it was that she wanted. And there was always something negative, there was always a block, there was always something that would stop her, something that someone would do to her, etc, etc. You get the gist. Now, what ended up happening was that after a while, after a year or two, I actually started reflecting her self-concept back to her. That poor self-concept, that self-concept of everyone is against me, everyone is being mean to me, everyone is rejecting me, etc, etc. At some point, even though I was conscious of it, because like I said, I knew her, we were talking quite a lot, I still started reflecting that self-concept, even though it was very out of character for me. I'm not a person who easily rejects other people. I'm not a person who is easily mean to other people. I actually consciously try not to be mean to other people. I'm quite patient with people. And yet, at some point, I started reflecting that poor self-concept, that hostile self-concept of everyone is against me and everything is against me, back to her. And the interesting thing is, even though I realized and I understood it was out of character for me, it was not how I usually am with people, I still felt compelled to reject her and I might even have been somewhat mean to her, which again, like I said, was completely out of character for me. So I ended that friendship because I just felt compelled, it just felt like the right thing to do. And even though I knew her self-concept, even though I knew she had self-worth issues, I still felt compelled as if something was telling me to do it within me, within myself, to just drop her, just end the friendship, which is what I ended up doing. And even though I was already into conscious manifesting by then, and so part of me kind of knew, kind of suspected that I was actually probably reflecting her self-concept back to her, I still felt compelled to do it. I still didn't have any regrets in doing it. And up until this day, I still feel like it was the right thing to do. Even though I acted out of character, even though I did things that I don't normally do with most people, and even though I wasn't quite myself in how I acted with her. So again, this is why I tell you guys, your specific person or any specific person, it doesn't have to be a romantic interest, any specific person is going to reflect your dominant thoughts, your dominant assumptions, your dominant expectations of them, and they're going to reflect your dominant self-concept as well because we are all each other's mirrors. Whether we like it or not, this is what we are. And so let's say you're manifesting a specific person and let's say that they're stubborn with most people. Let's say that's how they are. This, this is one of their character traits. If you see them under a different light, under a different perspective, it's very, very possible that they will show you specifically a different version of themselves. So they might very well act out of character. And this is because they would be matching your own perceptions, your own expectations, and your own assumptions of them. Another interesting part I wanted to touch on, and this is why I've told you guys in previous videos, not to approach manifesting and everyone is you pushed out as mind control. You truly need to shift your own perceptions and your own perspectives within yourself, because if you don't change within yourself and you're just affirming for another to change, here's what happens. There's a very high possibility, especially if the other person is tuned in, that they will receive that as compelling energy and as mind control, which has happened to me, luckily, on a very limited number of occasions, maybe two or three times that I can recall, when I knew that someone was trying to manifest me, but not from a genuine place, not from a place where they had actually changed their perceptions of me or a place where they were seeing me lovingly. No, it was more of a place of, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. Kind of like, in a way, kind of like a magic spell. Well, luckily I'm quite tuned in and I'm able to catch these energies. Even if I don't know who they might be coming from, usually I do, but even if I don't know, I'm able to feel that kind of energy. And usually I'm pretty successful at blocking it and deciding that this is not something that I want. And so here's the difference. If the assumptions and if the perceptions are actually genuine, I and everyone else have no choice but to actually reflect them back to the person who has them. If the manifesting is coming from a place of I'm trying to manipulate the 3D, in this case, I'm trying to manipulate you to do something that I want you to do, but my feelings are not exactly genuine, my intentions are not exactly pure, then a lot of people, especially people who are tuned in, might be able to feel it and they might be able to block it. 
And this is why I've told you before, if you're trying to manifest from a place of trying to manipulate the 3D, trying to force the 3D, it might still work. In some cases, it might still work. In other cases, it might not. And this is why a lot of the time, if you're just doing affirmations, if you're just doing techniques, but without changing within, you might be seeing opposite results manifesting. This is the main reason, because a genuine, pure change of state has to be followed by a change in the 3D, and that includes people in your 3D. And no one, no one, no one is immune to that, believe me. Whether we're talking about something that is positive and wanted, or whether we're talking about something that we don't want, we don't prefer, or whether it's something neutral. So I hope this helps clarify and give you an illustration of how it can feel on the other side when you are, let's say, on the receiving end. Um, for the most part, it feels very natural. It feels like it originates within yourself. You don't know you're reading someone else's mind or that you are um, receiving someone else's thoughts or energies or expectations or assumptions. No, it feels like it's coming from within you. It feels like you yourself are prompting yourself to say something or to act a certain way, etc. Which is why it's so important to keep your intentions pure on the one hand. And on the other hand, you want to always align your thoughts, your assumptions, your expectations, your state with what you actually want to experience in your 3D reality. Because like I said already three times in this video, if you have a genuine change of state, if you have a genuine shift within you, the 3D, and that includes the people in your 3D, have no choice but to reflect it. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.